Welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video guys. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the car pass because they've added in the Griffith TVR or the TVR Griffith as it were 2018 the brand new car from TVR. It's all about TVRs this week because not only is the Griffith in the game as a seasonal event, the Street Scene Championship, you can win the TVR Tuscan S. I uploaded a video yesterday on this car, go check that out. But today, it's all about the TVR Griffith. So let's check out this TVR Griffith. If you are new around here, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get on with today's video. The first things first, let's check out the old upgrades. I want to do brakes and suspension because TVRs aren't known to be brilliant. But I'm pretty sure, being a 2018 model, they're going to be pretty good anyway. We are in S1 class already, so let's just take it to the top of S1 and see if we can complete the seasonal PR stunt, which is a speed camera and get 200 miles an hour. I tried it yesterday in the Tuscan S. It didn't end too well. I got 197 horse, uh, horsepower. 197 miles an hour through the camera. I'm going to see if the Griffith can do any better. I'm loving that all cars at the moment, anything added into the game is coming with track width. I keep saying it, but it's oh, so good. It makes the cars look so much better. We are going to go with aero. Oh, that looks, that looks mean. I'm loving it. I love that wide mouth. Just gobbles the road up. Hum, hum. Right, we've got the exact same engines as the Tuscan S. We've got the 6.2 litre V8, the 5.2 litre V10, and the 7.7 .7 litre V12. I swapped in the V12 into the Tuscan S, uh, but I'm not really feeling it for this car. Okay, we're at the top of S1900. I'm not sure this is going to be capable. We're only just pushing 202 miles an hour. We're at 545 horsepower. Let's see if we can get this speed camera done. I'm not sure it's going to be able to do it. I might have to swap in that V12 just to give me the top speed. Right, with a few tweaks to the tuning setup, I've managed to squeeze 204 miles an hour out of this little beast. It sounds absolutely amazing. I'm just not sure we're going to hit 200 miles an hour. Ooh, turns well. Yeah, we're struggling here. 195 is dropping up here, obviously. We might have to swap in the V12, boys. The camera in question is this one here. We need 200 miles an hour. I've done 210 in a personal best, but it's not in a TVR. So I could quite easily do it, probably in a Ferrari LaFerrari or a P1 or a Senna or something like that. But we'll try it in the Griffith and see what happens. I am quite a fan of this car. It sounds really cool. All TVRs do, to be fair. I'm loving the vents on the bonnet and the long sweeping bonnet as well. It's sort of stuck with, with their styling with this one. And the back end sort of reminds me of a, uh, a Toyota A80, is it? The new one? What am I doing there? This turns in well. That gripped really well. I'm just going to rewind that so I don't hit that fence. Yeah, it holds the road a lot better. 180. The standard engine, was it 560 horsepower, 545, somewhere around there? It's definitely not quick enough. So what we're going to do is go swap in the V12 and see what damage it can do with that. I want to try and keep the Griffith in S1 class. To do that, I'm going to have to take the race tyres off and run with stock tyres. I'm not sure it's a good idea, but we're going to try it anyway. I want to keep it in S1. So what we'll do to counteract that is just make them as wide as we can. I'm not going to change them, and we're going to bring them out as far as we can as well, just to try and counteract me changing the compound. I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make, but we shall see. Right, everything is pretty much the same as it was. All we've done is taken the race tyres off and put in a V12. So we go from 545 horsepower up to 850, and hopefully we'll get this speed trap done. Here we go, new and improved TVR Griffith. 800 horsepower, or 850 horsepower, 50 makes all the difference, crest of the hill, we're already hitting 200, that's good news, no traffic to be seen, flick it in, okay, tent number two, here we go, turn in, yeah, we just don't have the grip, I'm going to have to put race tyres on it, I want to do this camera in this car, I wanted to do it in the Tuscan S to be honest, but the Tuscan S isn't going to be capable, so... 
race tyres. Right, I've thrown caution to the wind. We've just fully upgraded, balls to the wall. Thrown every single upgrade we can at this thing. 1,104 horsepower, class S2951. Let's get this camera done. Here we go. Turn in. Absolutely no traffic, brilliant. Come on, 200. Boom, 205.24. Seasonal PR stunt complete. Thank God for that. Spent quite a bit of money on this car, but it's all good. It looks amazing. Sounds amazing. It's got a V12. It would sound amazing. I will be honest, that wasn't the first attempt in the uh, fully upgraded Griffith. It was about the third or fourth attempt, I will be honest. But, got it done. 205 miles an hour. I'm happy with that. This car is well worth the download, guys. If you want to go and grab it, please do. For completing that, we actually got a Super Bowl spin, so let's go ahead and grab that now. Hopefully, we're going to get something good out of this. I can see a couple of golds in there. Some big money. What are we going to get? Oh, we just missed the 500,000. We get 300,000. Some blue tartan roll ups, which nobody wants. And 30 grand. That 458 special would have been nice, though. There's two of them, actually, sat right there. That would have been. A little bit odd if I got both, but hey, we'll take the money. We've got uh, 11 million now, or near enough 12 million. So there you go, guys, the TVR Griffith. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new around here, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Hopefully, I think tomorrow will be the Grand Tour uh, next episode. So do stick around for that, and I'll hopefully see you soon.